Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the NFL Draft Promo Part 2, which is going to include a few more rounds of players, guys. Now, of course, we had round one. We have, we're going to have rounds two through four. Hopefully, we have five through seven. And then, of course, maybe some undrafted, which I think they'd probably bunch together as late round and undrafted, which they have done in the past. We've gotten guys like Chris Harris before. I'd imagine we say like a Philip Lindsay potentially. Maybe a James Robinson would make a lot of sense as an undrafted master. But nonetheless, super excited to get into this, guys. A lot of good stuff to go over. And, of course, what I'm most excited for is the actual NFL draft and content, of course, guys. Now, I'm a Giants fan, guys. We have an early pick. Uh, not early. I'd say, you know, first the first third of the of the first round kind of pick. Still high. Could trade back. Could grab some assets. Could keep the pick. If it's me personally, guys, I want a few things. I like Micah Parsons, the linebacker. He's good. I like Jalen Waddle. I love Devonta Smith. Um, I'd be happy with all three of those guys. Uh, you know, if Sewell for some reason falls that late, which I doubt he will, but you never know. There's gonna be a big off. There's gonna be a big offensive run in the first round, like we've never seen before. Potentially four quarterbacks and three wide receivers could all go in the top ten. That would mean that the and they might not even be the best players in the draft, right? Typically, the skill positions aren't even the best. Sewell, some defensive players, they uh, you know certain some guys are gonna fall pretty late. That really should be first uh, top ten picks. So besides the point, guys. Super excited for the draft and of course Madden content that's gonna cool, correspond with the draft, but. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's up. Let me know who you want your team to draft. Comment down below who your team is. Like, if you want Broncos, and then say Trey Lance. Broncos, Justin Fields, Giants, Parsons, Jets, Wilson. Let me know your team and who you want to draft down below. Super interested to see what everyone's rocking with. Now, let's move over to sets to go check out the new NFL Draft Part 2. So, we got Draft Past, right? So, now... Maurice Jones drew 99 overall. That's pretty crazy, guys. So, of course, we had Cam and Antonio Brown before, but now we got two new 99s. We got Jack Ham, and we have um, Maurice Jones drew. Now, I'm curious to know if the free 99 overall player we get from the solos does include them. Now, I think it does, right? Because those solos can't be done for like a week or so until all the solos are in. So, for it to be a delayed drop release, I'd imagine that means they're going to include the newer ones. Now, so far, guys, Antonio Brown and Cam are good. MJD and Jack Ham. Now, typically, I wouldn't imagine their stats to be good, but now that we're getting 99s, guys, everyone's gonna be good, right? We're at that point where no matter who you are, like, you could even give like, you can give a guy with a bad name like a Steve Large, who's typically slow, and he'll get 99 speed. Right? We're at that point in the year. Definitely excited to check it out. Uh, some of the set pieces, of course, we could have some more 97s. Um, I believe Eric Hendricks is new, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence is new, so let's check out Eric Eric Hendricks. Oh God, of course. I think Eric Hendricks is new to Marcus Lawrence, but let's go down here. So Eric Hendricks, middle linebacker for the Vikings, only 91 speed, not going to be great. Going to get up to a 95, uh, 94 max. Good excel, decent height, good block, decent block shed. We'll get 99 zone, but overall the card's not going to be that great because of course he is a middle linebacker that can't get 99 speed. So I don't really see the value for him. Demarcus Lawrence, left end for the Cowboys, probably going to be pretty good. Only an 85 speed, that's pretty low actually. Um, he will get up to 88 speed. 95 excel power if it chemmed up he will get 94 block shed 99 power move 99 finesse move which is actually pretty good six foot three not a horrible card i wouldn't say it's the best edge rusher but not horrible of course on a cowboys team team will probably be ridiculous but uh who's the third guy here chris cooley tight end actually i believe this is a legend tight end so yeah it's actually pretty cool he was pretty good early in the year only a 92 speed though which is kind of a liability so um was hoping we'd get a little bit faster on the tight end front he still will get a 95 speed though 95 speed, 99 meet a short and medium route running, probably 99 catch and traffic slash spec catch, and above 80 run blocking. Not a bad tight end, guys. Not a bad second tight end. Definitely amazing on a Washington football team theme team. Uh, but overall, guys, I don't think he's that that great, you know. Now let's go check out MJD, of course, and Jack Hamner. I think MJD actually would be pretty fun. Gonna probably have a James Robinson-esque build, except he's actually pretty elusive, but that body style, right? Like they're really they're like small uh muscle hamster type builds. So they're gonna probably look similar, and they're both in Jaguar jerseys. But MJD should be a little bit more elusive and agile than uh, James Robinson would be in terms of Madden stats. So let's check this out. Filter by 99, go to newest. We have Maurice Jones drew up on the block for 525. Elusive back, 99 overall. This is why I want to see. This card looks really, really good. 5'7". Okay, so he's, yeah, he's pretty... I had a feeling he was super tiny. Um, powered up in Kemba, he will have 99 speed, 98 excel, 98 agility, 99 carrying. 
87 catching which guys if you don't want to put zone on him you can go ahead and put like some catching um like a go deep play fake type thing get his catching up to 90 change of directions would be 97 his trucking will be 96 and his break tackle 99 guys complete muscle hamster can truck can break tackles can juke can run around people super fast he was gonna have 87 strength as well guys this is a really good running back uh can catch of course out of the backfield 98 carrying is amazing he will have a 93 stiff arm, 96 spin. He was going to have a 99 juke and spin more than likely with zone run, as well as an 80 medium route running, a 75 catch in traffic with a 99 break tackle, guys. This card is really, really good. MJD is actually probably the best running back in the game, or at least up there. Now, of course, next gen, maybe not because of the weight and height, but current gen, he's a freaking stud, guys. He's good. He's really good. Now, let's find Jack Ham. Let's filter out here, of course, because it's going to be very, very overwhelming in terms of 99s now, especially ever since we got the team MVPs. Uh, NFL draft, NFL draft, NFL draft. It should have been. Oh, it's all at the bottom, right? NFL draft pass. Jack Ham. Oh, and we got Honey Badger LTD as well. Which we do got to go over. Forgot about him. Jack Ham, outside linebacker, run stuffer. 92 speed. Okay, let's start there. That's good. He's going to get a 95 speed at outside linebacker. Starting there. 95 Excel. That's fire. 94 strength, good. 95 tackle, amazing. 98 play rec power from Kemda. That's amazing. 96 block shot outside linebacker is amazing. He will get up to about, I believe, a 97 power move and a 91, uh, 91 finesse move. So, guys, honestly, not bad. I mean, if you want an all-around... It all comes down to his zone, though. If he can zone two, he's pretty fire. Uh, let's see. He gets 93 jumping. 85 catching. 90 change of direction. 80 spec catch. 91 impact blocking. 78 catch in traffic. What is his zone coverage looking like? Does he have a zone at all? Probably not, right? Probably not. Uh, do you see zone? Do you see zone? Do you see zone? 93 zone guys this might be the ultimate linebacker might be the ultimate linebacker he can get 99 zone coverage with 96 block shed with 97 power move with 85 catching with 80 spec catching with 90 change of direction guys if you're if you get caught in the line on jack ham you can run him off you can use him right and he's six foot one he can stop the run he can rush the pass you guys he's he's the ultimate scheme guy right you put him on the edge of rushing fine you do, you do a type of special meta defense where you pop him out to zones, he can play it. You keep him as a rusher, he can play it. You keep him as an outside linebacker off the edge uh, when you're running the ball, he'll get off on the run. You pop him back into like one of those fake uh, fake rushing back up into his own, like, you know, the sky's blitz. There you go. He can play that too. He can zone. This card's really good. Jack Ham's really, really good. Next, guys, we got the Honey Badger. Let's find him over here. So, LTD Honey Badger, definitely going to be an insane card. 96 speed. Okay, I thought this speed would be higher. Still going to be 99, right? But... He's going to have a 99 speed power up from Kemdup with 99 Excel. Off the rip, amazing. 90 tackling is good. 99 play rec, 96 pursuit, 99 man, 99 zone already. You honestly don't even want to put lockdown on him, guys. If I were you, there's no point in putting lockdown. He gets 99 play rec, man, and zone off the rip. If you could put anything else on him that can get him maybe hit power or something, that'd be better. If you have your team like that set up too. Uh, he gets 97, 98 agility, which is crazy. 99 awareness, which is crazy. 85 catching, which is good. 95 jumping, 70 carrying, 98 change of direction. That's going to be good. Um, 82 juke, a little low. Not a big deal, though. You're not really going to juke with him. Only 72 spec catch and 59 catch in traffic, which kind of sucks. 91 hit power. We saw 93 press, though. So, actually, guys, if you do put that lockdown on him, you will get him up to, like, a 99 press, though, which means he can literally press man someone like a cornerback. Just like Jack Ham, though, guys. These are all very... These are three versatile players. MJD can be a receiver and a power back and elusive back. Jack Ham could be a zone linebacker, pass rushing linebacker, run stuffing linebacker. Tyrant Matthew can be a zone guy, a man guy, a press guy, a cornerback, a free safety, a strong safety because he can hit too. And all in all, guys, this was probably the most versatile drop of cards I've ever seen in a while. But yeah, it's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, if you guys need coins, head over to Muttcoin Bank down below and use code Pool at checkout. 5% off your order. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.